감사합니다. 하마 레스토랑에 오신 걸 환영합니다. 네, 네. 감사합니다. 감사합니다. Hi everyone. Today I'm in Leeds at an all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue buffet called Hammer. It's a 10 minute walk from Leeds train station and is located close to the city centre. I'm here for lunch at opening time which costs £28 for the full barbecue buffet with a time limit of 1 hour 30 minutes. Sounds expensive but if the reviews on Google's are anything to believe then it's probably going to be worth it. I'm sat at a table with a grill plate in the middle and given a drinks menu. The drinks are pretty interesting sounding but I didn't fancy any bong bong or whatever that is and I've gone straight for the grapefruit soju at £11.50 a bottle. In the centre of the restaurant is where I get the food. Let's have a look. I only have an hour and a half so I'm picking a selection of food I like the look of to try. At the bottom is some pork belly and LA style beef galbi. It already looks amazing, especially the beef. At the top is some beef bulgogi, mushroom, onion, prawn and squid. All of those amazing ingredients will be going here on this hot grill. I can't wait. The grill of course is adjustable, let's turn up the heat and get it going. Whilst that's cooking I can try some other things from the buffet. Here we have a selection of kimchi, bean sprout salad, mooli, cucumber and spinach. And here we have some garlic, chilli and samjang for the barbecue meat. We also have dogboki, fried rice and chicken as well as kimbap, noodles, chapche and kimchi john. Wow, this is just a small selection of what there is on offer. Everything seems authentic so far, even this bottle of water is what you'd normally find in a Korean restaurant. However, you can't get more authentic than soju. This flavoured grapefruit one is my favourite and the perfect start to my barbecue meal. <sighs> it's sweet and it warms my throat nicely. The food's starting to get there, but whilst I wait, I may as well try the other food on offer. I think this is the first real test of the restaurant. How does the kimchi taste? Let's try. Okay, wow, it's not what I was expecting. The kimchi tastes quite fresh. It's definitely homemade, which is my favourite. It's delicious. The cucumber tastes just as nice. I can tell a lot of love and hard work has gone into everything here. Based off the last two things I've tried, I know now how this mooli salad will taste even before it's in my mouth. It's sweet and a little sharp. It's refreshing and tasty. Everything is delicious. Well done, Hammer. Incidentally, it struck me while sitting here what the restaurant name actually means. In Korean, Hammer means hippo, which is what I look like once I'm done here, unlike these beautiful people. No Korean restaurant is complete without scissors. I haven't yet fully evolved into a hippo, so I'll have to cut these pieces to size. I don't think my mouth is big enough. The meat is nearly cooked to my liking, but how about the dogbaki to start? I left it too long so it's a bit cold, but the flavour and texture of the rice cake is really good. I'm impressed. The LA Galbi is what I'm probably most excited about. This is usually more expensive in a restaurant, so I think I'll take this into consideration when I judge if this place is value for money. The meat is hot, but easy to hold using the bone. It has a nice, slightly sweet and savoury flavour, and the meat is slightly chewy, but in a good way. It's lovely, and I'll be eating a lot more of these. This is the beef bulgogi meat. Actually, I thought it was slightly thicker cut when I picked it up, but it looks really nice and thin. Ah, 
Ah, oh, okay, so now I'm torn. I thought the LA Galbi ribs were good, but this is just so nice. I think it might be my favourite out of the two. For an electric barbecue, this might be the best bulgogi meat I've tried so far. I nearly forgot about the pork. This is of course a cheaper cut, but let's be honest, you can't go wrong with crispy pork belly. I'm trying this with a little of the barbecue onion. As expected, it's delicious. Another nice addition to the barbecue is the seafood. Here's some squid. I think this one has surprised me the most so far. It's naturally sweet and not at all chewy. The texture is just right, but I guess that's down to how I cooked it. This is great. Here's some kimchi john, which is a kind of pancake. It feels quite crispy in my chopsticks and I'm interested to see how it tastes. Again, this has surpassed my expectations. I usually find kimchi john to be a bit of a soggy pancake, but this is so crispy and full of flavor. It's actually the best I've ever had, no question. The grill's getting a bit dirty. I'll try cleaning it with some of this lettuce. Oh. Hmm, it's not doing a lot. The lettuce was rubbish. Let's try some garlic. Whoops. Oh. Oh, that's no good. Oh well, I give up. Oh, I didn't know, but they do actually change the grill for you. A nice lady has come along and she's doing this for me. Thank you so much. I thought I'd try some of their other meats. This is spicy chicken. I think it needs a little longer to caramelize. Let's try this prawn. I love prawns, but I hate peeling them. If anyone watching is good at peeling them, then please leave me some advice in the comments. I don't have a clue what I'm doing. For all of the messing about, I think it was worth it. The chicken looks ready. I imagine this will be spicy, but having bit into it, I don't find it that spicy at all. Good flavor though. It's nicely seasoned and quite tender. I like to say I'm getting full, but all of the food looks so good, it's encouraging me to eat more. Even the simple chicken breast looks tasty, right? I initially thought that an hour and a half wouldn't be enough time for me to eat a decent amount that's value for money, but the food is continually restocked and I'm able to keep eating what I like. The restaurants got a lot busier and all of the diners seem to be having a good time. I think that part of the restaurant's charm and appeal is not just the excellent food, but the owner who is a bit of a character. I'm almost finished with the meat and I'm down to my last piece. Of course there's always a bit of room for dessert. There's not the widest selection available, but in this case the selection of fruit is more than enough. It's refreshing. I'm ready to pay, but the friendly owner wanted to chat a little bit. They actually advertise Korean lessons here, so if you live in the area and you want to learn, then this is the place to come. Unfortunately, I live too far away. The owner gave me a complimentary glass of iced tea as a part of his service, which was generous and much appreciated. Nothing tastes sweeter than these simple acts of good customer service. It's probably no incentive, but if you do visit, then make sure to track down my photo. It's on these walls somewhere. If you do find it, then please let me know in the comments. The total came to £67.50 for the two barbecue meals and a bottle of soju. Was it worth it? Absolutely. I can't wait to come back. 
Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye.